Although we know you can get much better price to performance out of a desktop gaming PC, I know a lot of you are still rocking laptops, whether that be for work or school or whatever. So today I have an entire PC gaming and live streaming setup that's dedicated to you budget ballers that have to have a laptop. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today, not only will we be working our way through all the parts inside this super budget gaming slash streaming setup, but we'll also cover some alternative parts for you to use. And of course, we need to check out this Asus laptop that Intel actually sent out for today's video. I do feel kind of bad that I now have this super powerful gaming PC and I'm really only playing Raid Shadow Legends with it, but good thing I teamed up with them again to be today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. And like I just said, I've been playing it a ton and our Discord members, even even set up a ZTT clan because a lot of us are enjoying it. The reason why I personally keep coming back is because all the shards you get by just playing the game normally and then you can summon tons of different heroes to dominate the online competition. I just got my first champion up to 5 stars, his name is Gallic, and he's an absolute baller on the battlefield. Raid has an in-game review system where you can quickly see what the community rates that hero so getting spun up on which champions are good and which champions are bad is super easy for people like me that don't have a ton of time to research a new game. New heroes are coming out all the time, this concept art of some upcoming heroes looks super exciting, and as you can see, there's a ton of detail going into these designs. So go ahead and download the game by clicking the link in the description box, and if you're a new player, that'll start you out with 100,000 silver, as well as some clan boss keys, mystery shards, and even an awesome champion. I'll see you guys in there. So just for a quick sneak peek of what this final streaming setup could look like, here's an example of me owning some noobs like normal in Fortnite, and honestly, I feel like this stream looks pretty solid for such a budget total price. Let's start working our way through this setup first so we can end with this new beefy laptop and I definitely recommend you buy a mouse first and foremost with a gaming laptop setup because you obviously can't game with just a touchpad. This here is the Corsair Qatar Pro Wireless, brand new product actually and it only costs $40 and I'm personally super excited to see that Corsair is still making some more budget friendly products like this one. This is a super lightweight design, it's powered by a single AA battery so you can quickly change it out when it dies. It's rocking a 10,000 DPI PMW 33 325 sensor which is great for a product that isn't expensive like this one and honestly I think what I like the most is just how simple and portable it is. This is great for a budget laptop gaming setup. For an alternative if you're looking for just a wire mouse because you don't want to deal with wireless at the same price point of $40 I would highly recommend the Cooler Master MM710. I actually purchased this for a previous budget setup guide that you can check out in the upper right hand corner and I loved it so much that it's now been my daily driver ever since. Underneath the mouse you without a doubt need a good quality mouse pad as well and this this here is the Cooler Master MP750, which I also featured in a previous $350 full setup guide. I personally paid $10 for this, but I think it sits around $15. There's a micro USB cable to power the RGBs, which you can cycle through with this button here. And overall, it's just a really solid RGB mouse pad at such a budget price. If you want something more portable and don't want to mess with USB cables, just go with something like the super simple all black Vic T-Sing pad, which you can find for like five bucks. Next up, we have the headset, and I'm sorry that I just featured these in a recent video as well, but man, I'm such a huge fan of these Razer Black Shark V2 Xs. These come in at just $60 and provide so much price to performance, it's not even funny. I really like how they're rocking this Ear Defender style of ear cup. They're super comfortable to wear, and overall, the sound quality of this just sounds really good for the price point. I'm also a really big fan of how the microphone sounds, especially when I'm killing esports pros like that. Following that, we have a webcam, and now this one I've been super happy about lately as well. I actually use this for some of my additional angles over on my Twitch live streams, twitch.tv slash ZaxTechTurf, by the way, where I've been streaming every Tuesday and Thursday, and this provides a very high quality image for such a budget price. Normally, everyone likes to recommend the Logitech C920, but that's obviously been out of stock for the last six months. So this here is the Unzano full 1080p webcam, and it's currently sitting at just $37 on Amazon. Now, obviously, any webcam at this low of a price point isn't going to look fantastic, but this is what your stream would look like if you have the webcam in the bottom right hand corner when you're gaming. But even when you blow it up the full screen, but this actually still looks pretty decent in my opinion. Now I do have this webcam propped up on a monitor which is perfect and I actually do recommend buying a secondary one if you're streaming. You definitely don't need this if you're just gaming but I do want to make this a streaming setup for those of you that are interested and I think it's extremely important to have a secondary screen where you can monitor your Twitch chat, your streaming software, and anything else you might need to glance at while playing a game. This here is the Scepter E225W which is a super budget 22 inch 1080p 75 hertz panel that always sits brand new on Amazon 
Amazon for $75 to $85. I actually really like gaming on this monitor as well. 75 hertz is much better than 60 in my opinion, but if you're rocking a laptop that has a 144 hertz panel like I am today, obviously this isn't necessary for gaming. Speaking of this laptop though, it's now time to introduce this beast. And this here is the Asus Zephyrus M15, which is packing an Intel Core i7-10750H six core CPU, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 clocked at 2933 megahertz, a GTX 1660 Ti, 512 gigabyte SSD, and of course that beautiful 144 hertz 1080p display that I just mentioned. All of this is inside an incredibly high quality body that's rocking a pretty low profile and clean design, which you guys know I'm definitely a fan of. I actually purchased the previous model of this laptop about a year ago, the Zephyrus G, which you can check out up here. So that just proves that I'm already a fan of this sort of budget line from Asus here. This six core CPU is plenty powerful enough to run a pretty high quality live stream on Twitch like you can see me doing here. I'm also a really big fan that they were able to squeeze out an ethernet port on the side despite how thin the laptop is so you don't have to go through the pain of live streaming on a Wi-Fi connection and the keyboard on here is good enough that I didn't feel the need to purchase a new one for this setup guide. I really feel like this laptop combined with these other budget peripherals is a really solid combination if you want to start gaming or even streaming from a laptop rather than a dedicated desktop machine. Obviously the laptop we have here today is incredibly powerful but you would certainly be able to swap this out for something more budget friendly or even whatever laptop that you already currently have. All of these extra peripherals only cost around $250 so that will pair perfectly with a ton of different laptop options. As always let me know down in the comment section what other parts you want to see me check out for the next setup guide. Be sure to head on over to our discord server if you want more ideas for your own PC gaming or streaming setup and finally I hope you enjoyed this video.